Hey everyone, we're back. Not that we left anywhere, but you know. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? You know, we can't hear you, but if you speak louder, we might be able to. So go ahead and scream. I always How feel like doing? at some point we're going to hear them just speak up. And be like, oh, what the crap? What is that? What is who's, who's here? We're hearing comments. Yeah. <laughs> How scary would that be? That would be terrifying. It would be terrifying. And considering how it's a mixed bag with comments, it would be the worst superpower you could ever have. <laughs> My favorite one is release two episodes this week. Sorry. <laughs> We just can't. We have so much on our plate right now. We're if trying. you only we're knew, trying. guys, if you only knew how busy we both were. <laughs> right, right. But we're trying, and hopefully, you still love that we're watching My Little Pony each week. And speaking of watching, you want to watch? I want to watch. I need to watch. Let's watch. Let's watch. As you know, the adorable fairy creatures known as Breezies are about to I need this in my life you. today. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting! Ah, I can't wait for Rainbow Dash to make the Breeze for them so I can see how cute they are up close! I've never done it before. Not that I won't be totally awesome at it, because I totally will! And that Breeze is very important, but so is cheering on those teeny tiny little things so they have the confidence to ride that Breeze to their native land. Did I mention how tiny they are? <laughs> so tiny! <laughs> I was thinking we could do a special breezy cheer. I love cheers! Just put them on both. Cheers should be quiet. Make cheers. them the forefront of every episode. <laughs> we need to be able to concentrate. These two? Why yeah, Pinkie try? Pie and, and you Fluttershy. You can do it, Breezies. You can do it, Breezies! Oh my. What I don't Slow motion flapping. why they need the Pegasi to make a breeze for them. Well, you see, it's the breeze that activates the breezy's magic. And Aww. that magic protects the pollen they're carrying from being destroyed. <laughs> so, no breeze means no magic means the pollen goes bad? That's right. And we only have two days to get that pollen back before the portal to their home closes. That's why it's ever so important that we help them make their way through Ponyville safely. We certainly wouldn't want to scare them and divert them from their path. Now you understand. <laughs> you certainly know a lot about them. Oh, thank you. I went to see them gathering their pollen <laughs> in Western Equestria. <laughs> so shiny! Rarity, I uh, hate to weigh in with you when it comes to fashion, but... Oh, there's too much purple on this, isn't there? I knew it! <laughs> but Never. Twilight refused to admit it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the perfect amount of purple. It's just that there's an awful lot of sequins on your jacket. Oh, darling, please. One can never have too many sequins. <laughs> you can if they reflect the sun and the light catches a group of breezies right in their eyes and blinds them long enough to get them off their course so they never get home. I stand corrected. <laughs> I suppose there is the rare instance when one can have too many sequins. I'll just take off my jacket. <laughs> I suppose... This won't do either. What is going on? It's heavenly. <laughs> oh no. So bright and white. Hide her, hide her. That sounds terrible to say, but she's gotta go Everybody, somewhere else. It's time. Strip a cloak over her. <laughs> so cute. Oh no, I hope it I hope it doesn't get ruined. Oh no, Spike, don't get too close. No! <gasps> don't yell! Oh no! Slow down the breeze for the other group to catch up! They're too far back. We can't connect the breeze to both sets of breezies. What if we speed it up? Then the first group will be going too fast and we'll get separated from each other! Oh no. Oh, careful! Oh, I understand the language of all kinds of creatures. Ooh, you must be so proud. And you speak my language too? You must be I so can. proud. This lot can only understand you. Clearly, they're not the brightest bunch around. Yeah. Yeah, 
But they understood that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry we couldn't get a breeze going that would get them back to the others. Oh, it's not your fault. I, for one, am very proud of you, Fluttershy. Leaping into action like that. I feel like I should design you a special hero's gown. <laughs> so, Fluttershy, you want us to get the breeze going again so these little guys can get a move on? <laughs> Maybe we should wait just a moment or so. They've been through so much. I Here, so give me the much. word when you think they're ready. Hmm. Can we come in? Oh, of course. We just wanted to see if you thought the breezes God. were ready to give it another try. Well, has it been an hour already? Oh my goodness. Time flies when you're making sure little creatures don't feel that you're abandoning them to the cruel world. <laughs> but they're not going to a cruel world, right? They're going home. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> On second thought, I don't think they're quite ready. Guessing there. Uh, what did he say? I'd rather not say. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure you're saying I'm my little pony. No one knows rare magical creatures like you do. We'll just wait for your word. Thank you. I'll be in touch very soon. <laughs> I like feel Easy, for. I must say, Seabreeze has a point. I think it's time for me to get Rainbow Dash and her friends so they can create the breeze for you to get home. <laughs> oh, you're all awfully anxious. Oh, I don't want you to feel abandoned or that I wasn't the most kind host I could possibly be. Oh, yes, that does make sense. Seabreeze, do you think you could wait just a couple more hours? Seabreeze? Seabreeze? Has any pony seen Seabreeze? Yeah, I, I, I was waiting for that. <gasps> Where's he going? Oh, there's no way he can handle being out there on his own. Oh, it's bad. Ooh, rival pollinators. <laughs> oh, it's really bad. They're gonna full on. Excuse me, bees. Hmm? Can you please back off my breezy friend? He didn't mean any harm. It was just an accident. I have done nothing but be kind, but I guess that is not working. You bees know better than to hurt a helpless breezy. I demand that you go away now, or you'll have to answer to me. <laughs> You could have gotten seriously hurt out there. Ponyville is much too dangerous for you. One tiny acorn is a threat. Yeah, I know. That is one reason why I have been trying to get us to go from the beginning. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I was just trying not to hurt any creature's feelings. My displays of kindness may have cost you everything. Time is running out, and you may never make it home. That is exactly what I have been telling all of them. But they do not listen to me. No breezy ever listens to me. Sea breeze, I understand your feelings are hurt, but it's hard for them to hear you when you're shouting and being mean. The message doesn't get across. But what about those bees? You were not nice to them, and that was the only way they listened. Ooh, this is yes, strong. But they had to go, and they wouldn't listen to me any other way. We need to go. Now! My dear Breezies, I had to rescue Seabreeze from serious harm. And now I know more than ever that you must leave before it's too late. You would never survive in Ponyville. Shame. The shame I shake. Help you anymore. In fact, I wasn't helping you at all by being nice. But the truth of the matter is that you hard. must be firm. Sometimes there's tough love. You must go now. Like, that hurt. That hurt more than anything. 
Oh, I bet for her especially. Mm -hmm. Can I? Fly back! I'm gonna try and see if I can slow it down! Now it's too light! Oh, this will never get them home! Oh my, maybe it's because there are too few of them. When they started their journey, there was more of them to face the breeze together. I've been studying an old spellbook from the castle of the two sisters. There's a spell that I think could help us. This is probably going to feel a little funny at first, but you're going to have to trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's really awesome, but also a little bit terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Them too. They're like, mm -hmm. Um, I mean, let's go. Mm. Your mane is so long, Rainbow. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. Come on, buddy. No. It still it still means the world to her. My experiences with the breezes have helped me to see that kindness can take many forms. Yeah. And sometimes being too kind can actually keep a friend from doing what they need to do. Hurry! Pushing them away may seem cruel, but it's sometimes the kindest thing That made me nervous. That's the me that's the message of this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> then he looks like, what? So, <laughs> I was so nervous. Uh, I've always kind of wondered what it would be like to be a griffin. Of course. Not a chance. <laughs> you sure? What about a dragon? No? It doesn't have to shoot fire! Mix flower. What a gift. Uh, wow. That was, I always say, like, this one's my favorite episode and this one's my favorite episode, but this one's my favorite episode now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, you know, when, not to go back to when we were talking, like, which pony are you and all that stuff? And I've always said that Fluttershy is my inner child. Mm. And I think down to the core of who I really, really am, I'm probably most her, which seems like an odd out of left field since I've said, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. But like deep down at the core of my heart, like that's who I am. Like, yeah, I have taken on many roles and I can like get comfortable in certain zones. And yes, I 
do like to read. But yeah, no, I think deep down, like when it comes down to like my, my spirit animal, it's Fluttershy, a hundred percent, because this whole like having to not be kind in order to be the kindest you can be is like such a hard thing for me. Mm-hmm. Like the whole tough love thing is really difficult. And so I really connected with this episode and I was like, wow, what a profound message. And like, it just was like, and then it wasn't just one layer of a powerful message. It was like multitudes of layers of a powerful message here. And and you know that what she had to do to make all of that happen in the end was so hard for her. <laughs> but it also was like she was happy and it was tears of joy that she did the right thing and everything turned out for the best. But yeah, <laughs> so cute, a, so sad. A nice versus kind. Is it all, you don't always have to be nice to be kind, even though those right. are like typically interchangeable. Yeah. She's still very, very kind, even with she was being harsh. Yeah. She wasn't necessarily being mean. She was just being harsh. There's and like there's, tough love. Yeah. There's always this thing that it's like, if you, if you speak the truth because it needs to be heard, you, like there's a fear, at least in me, whenever I have to do that, that I'm like, I hope I don't hurt their feelings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so worried that I'm going to hurt someone's feelings when I'm like, they need to be told this because they're doing wrong or whatever. And I just, I hope it doesn't make them, I go through so many barrels of like emotions, like, oh no, I'm going to affect them personally. And they're going to, I'm going to, they're going to, you know, hate me forever. Or, um, oh no, they're going to be, their ego is going to be hit by my my brutal honesty because they need to hear it but at the same mm-hmm. time it's it's going to hurt them and then they're going to be down on themselves and then I'm going to carry that guilt that I made them down on themselves for trying to do the right thing <laughs> like, but sometimes it's for the best like for this this <clears throat> circumstance the breezies had to get home if they didn't yeah. they'd be in a world where they are constantly threatened by even right. the smallest of things right yeah. I, I imagine them to be like as delicate as like the thinnest piece of glass or like you think of a butterfly wing think of a butterfly wing i think of the breezies is like even thinner than a butterfly wing because yeah. you can see through it it just it's so just so fragile so fragile they can't so, even be like they can't really be collected like she was so gentle upon doing this little yeah so okay. like imagine that us touching them and then imagine them going through a world like this it's just like ooh, that's yeah. terrifying no. i am i am glass <laughs> Yeah, no, ter- yeah. But they liked being pampered, and you can't you can't be mad at them for they wanting wanted to be pampered. A, they wanted a vacation, and, and the breeze part is a little bit exhausting for them, and they just wanted a break. They're like, oh, here's a break. I want a break. Mm-hmm. But they have to keep pushing. They have to keep moving on until they get to their destination, or else they're going to be stuck there. Yeah. yeah. And she got this pretty flower from them. And that was so, so sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything else, dear sir? No, I just, I loved it and I want more. (laughs) Thank you all so much for fanning out with us. Fans out.